look at yourself here. I don't know, I can't see anything. Yes, we haven't washed our hair in a month. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I washed it yesterday. <laughs> and I washed it three days ago. Oh, I know what video we can make. All right. Stop clapping. It's too loud. I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's make a video and share with our followers what our current favorite things are. Mm. Like raindrops and roses and whiskers on kittens. Yeah. You know how YouTubers do their favorites every month? Yeah. Well, we're like more minimalist, so we don't buy stuff every month. Mm -hmm. So this is our yearly favorites. Yes. All okay. right. <laughs> Also, this is my first item. Second hand, she was used. <laughs> <laughs> but she I just saw the potential, you know, she was so beautiful. <laughs> That's great. Okay, let's grab our stuff. Just put them on there on your uh Okay. Pass them over. So All right. I can go first? Yeah. Okay, so these are our all-time favorites because we don't have monthly favorites. Yes. Let's okay. talk about minimalism a little bit. Yes, like exactly. What, so what we don't want mean? to... Yeah, before leaving Canada and starting our trips around the world, we wanted to minimize and minimalize our lives. Yeah. And uh, I got rid of so much stuff that it was not useful. So I, got, I, I thought, I want to live a, minim you know, a minimalist life. <laughs> So we basically minimized our stuff to the point where basically all of our stuff can fit in two luggages. Yes. Like that's where I am right now and I hope one day I'll be able to put all of my stuff in one luggage. Exactly. Like that's my ultimate goal. Mine too. So. I remember when me and you and Artemis and we went to Maui, yeah. we had so much luggage. We it had was... like six giant bags. And in fact, like when we stuff. arrived there and we met friends, they were calling us the immigrants. Because <laughs> we had so much luggage with us. So we're pretty minimalist. We don't like to spend money or buy things if we don't really love them or if we don't really need them. But sometimes we'll find such a great deal on like some item on sale that we can't yeah. stop ourselves. This is the case. Okay. With these favorites, okay? All right, this is the case. This is These are things that uh, I bought because, okay, one day she went to the market, the flea market here where we're living and I and was at my parents. I, I found it uh, by coincidence. I yeah. just went out for a walk and then I ran into this huge flea market. Is it called a flea market? It's just like market. It's, a, it's just a market. And I saw all this stuff on sale and I mean on sale. These were all from a rack for two euros. Like yeah. each item cost two euros and yeah. two euros is like three dollars. Yes. You know? Yeah. So show them. So Show them. I, she got more stuff for me so and wait. I wasn't even there. She was trying them on and yeah. I was like, yes, this one, this one, and this one. Because we were the same size. Exactly. So I got this one and I was only going to get this because I don't really need stuff. See, the minimalism kicks in. But I yeah. found this and I actually wear like these kinds of... So it's like a cardigan. Is it a cardigan? A sweater? It's yeah. a knit sweater. Mm -hmm. It's really soft. It's really nice quality. It's from this brand called We Love Knit, not sponsored. And then I gave her a call and she made me buy a whole bunch. Now show your stuff. Yeah, okay. So I bought this jacket and uh, Two euros. I, I need a blazer. Do you call it a blazer? Something? Put it on, put it on. But you didn't put your on. Okay, this is the jacket. I mean, it's not like a perfect fit, okay? But it fits and I need a jacket like that. Well, I love jackets. It fits I mean, these are my really good. But this I just good. found 10 euros. <laughs> okay, put the second one on. Okay. So, 2 euros. This was 2 euros, guys. Okay. So, I need like a, a wind jacket and uh, some, and this is natural, like natural down. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, it's unbelievable, you know? It's really nice quality. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so, well, I, let me show. <laughs> Here, see? from this brand and it's it's drilled down. Yeah. Okay, and then and then I found this because I love white as well. It's one of my favorite colors and I wanted something like that. You know, something and like it's a, beautiful. a cute coat like that. And then where are the pockets? Here. So cute. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Two euros. Yeah. Okay, and show the last one. 
And this last one is from Zara. It's from Zara Women's originally, but I mean, yeah, this I is found like, it. you know, like okay. The, no, I have a hoodie. This was not <laughs> supposed to happen. You know? No, yeah, no, I had to. Okay, and uh, yeah. So okay, this. Th this you is look like sexy working lady, <laughs> and underneath you look homeless. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So all of that, including my little sweater and all of those jackets, all of that in total cost us ten euros. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally, and that's all I had in my bag so that's all I could get but yeah you know we're trying to stay minimalist but that was our big splurge yeah, exactly you know? and now I'm wondering I got too much yeah. this is like back to the old times when I used to have so much and then what am I going to wear all that stuff yeah but they're all really but there are nice. there are occasions when I want to wear one color or the other so. no this stuff you don't have to travel with you can just leave them here and whenever you're here true you wear them yeah so these are my current favorite Hair products. I hope you can see that. I'll get a closer. This is not sponsorship. <laughs> oh my god, none of these are sponsored, I wish. Yeah. Uh, but it's from L'Oreal Botanicals Fresh Care. And it's actually meant for colored hair. But I don't know why. It just worked really well on my hair. My hair is not colored. But these are amazing. And they're natural. And they don't have silicone. And they're really good. When it comes to hair... Uh, I use these because I discovered them on Maui and uh, actually you discovered them, right? Yes. So I tried these on my hair and uh, they it, they work. Like both of them, like amazing. Yeah. These, are, these are perfect for my kind of hair. And they're also natural. They don't have yeah. like silicone. They don't have... I don't think this has sulfates either. So this is my all-time favorite thing in the world. And if you're a lady, you already know what's in here. Should I show it? Okay, I'll kind of show it. <laughs> I use this all the time. This is a menstrual cup, for those of you who don't know. You have no idea. When I was a teenager, you know, growing up in Turkey, I didn't know about anything like this. I don't think it existed. Mm. And I only used, like, pads. And I hated it. I hated it. It's a disgusting feeling. It's like I wearing wish I a dirty diaper. This thing is not like a tampon. You can leave it in there for 12 hours. It's, it's amazing. It doesn't leak. If you put it in properly, it's like... It works like a charm and it changed my life. Okay, your turn. <laughs> right. So You don't have to worry about that anymore. Lucky you. Right. Okay. This is something I use very, not often, but I keep always close to me and I travel with this. It was given to me by a friend. Basically, it's a crystal, a clear crystal. And uh, as many of you or some of you are into crystals, you know that this kind, like many other crystals, uh, is, has very... Uh, healing properties so if I have something I'm going through like uh, something I just hold these crystals and uh, I feel quartz? better it's a quartz okay. yeah so it's amazing you travel with that too I travel with that it's the only one that I take with me okay you know all right so the next item I have is uh, something that if you follow me on Instagram you already know about this but I recently got myself some swimsuits from this brand called uh, Aragons, Aragons. And I was really nervous about it because I never ever buy swimsuits online because I'm always afraid of how they're gonna fit me or if they're gonna fit me. But these fit like a charm. And I wish I was sponsored. I'm not that lucky. <laughs> but I love those swimsuits. And um, yeah, I recently posted a photo of me wearing them, which I just wanna say that if you saw that photo, like that wasn't, a planned photo it's pretty bad actually I just like took these pictures like on my mirror to send to my mom to show my bathing suits and then I thought you know what you know I've struggled always with my body image how much I weigh how I look I never felt confident in a bathing suit for the first time when I took these photos with these bathing suits I felt like you know what I I don't look that bad I don't look like a swimsuit model but I don't look bad. You know, you don't have to have the perfect body to be able to wear a bathing suit and feel good in it. What's your thoughts on body image? Because, you know, you're now in your 50s. So how do you feel about your body? Yeah, I feel nervous sometimes because I say, oh my God, I'm not longer. I don't look, uh, you know, I, I don't look. 
I don't look, I don't look like I used to look before. I don't look anymore like I used to look before. So I, I you know, so this I said, okay, well, and, and I have to get over myself. You know, I just have to get over. Otherwise, what, what am I going to do? You know, <laughs> it's like. So you just if, get cuter and cuter. You accept the fact that you're going through a different phase, and uh, I don't want to hold on to that image of me. That was it. It was in the past. It was another P, another version of P. Now I'm living through this version, and I want to stay with this version. I don't want to feel like oh I'm no longer that. Yeah, you don't want to feel bad about it. Yes, the way you are now. Yeah, yeah I think that's a really good thing to say because we're always changing. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, I I just don't want to feel bad about my body anymore. I think I really am at that stage where I want to embrace it. You know, embrace the fact that, you know, I'm a bit more on the chicha side. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a, um, what what does that mean? Chicha fat? fat, but it means it in an endearing way. Like when you love somebody, you call them chicha and yeah. you hug them and you squeeze yeah. them. Italians are a lot more accepting. I found of like a little bit of chicha, a little bit of fat, they're really more embracing of that. Oh yeah. I mean, for me, growing up in Italy and being super skinny as a kid, it was not good because everybody thought that I was sick, that I, you know, I was too skinny and so on. In fact, I went on to a diet, a fattening diet, which oh consisted in cookies and lots of sugar and staying in bed most of the time because I didn't want to lose any calorie. And, and then I was so proud, you know, and my arms were fattening and I had a little chicha in my belly and all of that and I could fit my sister's pants. Oh, I was so happy. I was super happy. And I developed an eating disorder, bulimic for a while, but that was not fun. Anyway, those are my favorites. Your turn. So, okay, so this is the perfume I use. I got, like I fell in love with this perfume. It's Dolce Gabbana, light blue. So I've been using this as long as I remember because you know how you find a perfume and it goes so well with the kind of skin because each skin has their own, its own odor, right? Like if you smell the same perfume on different skins, you can notice a difference, right? Yeah, if I wear this, I smell so bad. Yeah, and this one is perfect for my skin and all of that. My next favorite is an obvious one, if you've been following us on YouTube, and it's my babies. <laughs> <laughs> I am obsessed with my plush stuffed animals. This one is called Gemini, and this one is called Snow, and uh, they represent me and P. And guess which one is which? <laughs> Your turn. Do you still have some? Yes. All-time favorites. All -time. Coconut, this is my best friend. I mean, I might even leave this behind, right? <laughs> the crystal. But not, or even the perfume, but not this guy. This guy comes with me everywhere. And it's not like always... Like new the, jars. New jars, obviously. It's not always the same brand, as long as it's... Um, virgin coconut oil. I put it everywhere, like on my skin, <laughs> everywhere. I look like a, sometimes like a, an anchovy, you know, out of a jar. This is my favorite. This is our vlogging camera. It's a Canon G7X Mark II. Mm -hmm. It's like an amazing yeah. little vlogging camera. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's very versatile. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's the last one I have. Do you have any more? I do have, and it's my favorite jewelry. Every time I go out, I put this on. I was uh, on the beach, there was this uh, person from India, and he was selling uh, jewelry. And this was like, um, hmm, I, it must have been in 
just as in 2010. This must have been 2010 or 2009. Mm -hmm. So 10 years ago, for sure. Whoa, so it was real silver then? Yeah. Since it hasn't like rusted or anything? Yeah, exactly. This reminds me of the Philosopher's Stone from that Harry Potter movie. <laughs> really? It's really nice. Anyway, that was it for our favorites. And uh, see you next time with a vlog. Bye. Bye.